Robert Bosch had his first major success with the magneto ignition device for cars. There really was no other ignition technology at the time that was up to the job. There were other systems, but they were either potentially dangerous, a fire risk, or useless because the battery was exhausted after 20 kilometers. So it really was an important product. It removed many of the obstacles that were holding the car's development back. It turned out to be the car's success story. The thing is, it's very risky for a company to depend solely on one product. So that's why Bosch kept diversifying its product portfolio, to include things like windshield wipers, turn signals and thousands more. With these new product lines, Robert Bosch acted early to avoid being over-dependent on magneto ignition systems. Yet he also began to wonder whether it wasn't just as risky to focus on one single industry. As the company found out to its great cost in 1925, that risk was very real. In 1925, the European automotive industry collapsed. Vehicle sales plummeted by nearly 40%, which hit Bosch very hard, and Robert Bosch asked himself what other products his company could manufacture. He instructed his management colleagues to start looking for new ideas. Take the refrigerator, for example. Of course, electrical fridges already existed, but only for the catering industry. What Bosch had in mind was to create a refrigerator that the average household could afford. Another example is power tools. People wanted small, easy-to-use tools for manufacturing tasks, but there was nothing available in the market. Luckily, there was a small hair-trimming device in development at that point, and it could be modified to create power tools, like drills, screwdrivers or grinders. The key was putting the motor inside the handle. After household appliances and power tools, the company expanded into other industries. In 1929, televisions. In 1932, car radios and gas-fired boilers. In 1934, film projectors. Later, the company moved into packaging technology, industrial technology, telecommunications, and solar technology. In the 1970s, Bosch was even involved, temporarily, in making prefabricated houses. Some of these product lines were eventually abandoned, Others became a core part of the company's portfolio. It always depended on two questions. Was it a good match for Bosch and would it be profitable in the long term? Diversification is of course an ongoing process. Bosch has been in the thick of this process for the best part of 80 years. But it has always pursued one goal to put the company in the best possible position and secure employment for all its associates. And this remains the great challenge for the future. Whatever setbacks it has faced, it has always been the company's adaptability that has driven Bosch, over and over again, to success. <laughs>